Okay, so Matt Wyman, 69-0. and 0. Um, He's lost two of his last three fights, and he's lost three of his last five fights. Whereas his opponent, Jordan Levitt, has won five of his last five fights. Actually, he's 7-0, and 0, so he's won seven of his last fights. Uh, he is, I guess, on a seven-fight win streak. Um, Jordan Levitt is. Uh, Matt Wyman is not. So in this fight, we see Matt, you know, once again, a guy who's won in various ways. He doesn't have any real advantage in this fight, though. And uh, if you look at his record, the poor guy, I didn't realize this until I looked at it, but it looks like the poor guy hasn't won a fight since 2014. And before that, he hadn't won since 2012. So here's my issue is... Where the hell was this guy for the past, oh, I don't know, five years before he came back in 2019 and lost twice? Once to Luis Pena, once to Joel Selecki, or Joel Selecki. I don't feel comfortable with Matt Wyman already. Just like, even if I didn't know Matt as a fighter, I wouldn't feel comfortable now looking at just what's going on with his record. Now we go to Jordan Levitt, because here's the thing. He's obviously, in some way, shape, or form, the better fighter with the better record. But my issue here is that he has not fought in the UFC yet. Another issue that I have is that he's only had seven fights. He's 25 years old. Matt Wyman's been in with competition that uh, is maybe tougher. You know, he maybe hasn't fought in a very long time, but does his experience go as far as getting him the win? Um, and you look at the odds here, Jordan is like a heavy favorite. So clearly even the odds makers uh, think Jordan's going to win this fight. When he's undefeated and he's got that submission experience, you know, uh, he's young and hungry. It's his UFC debut. Uh, he's probably going to go in there really chasing the win. He does have a little bit of a reach advantage, but, the, you know, will that make a difference? Probably not in this fight. Uh, he's a younger fighter fighting. Okay, so he's like 25. Well, Wyman's what, 37? The only thing that you could lean to Wyman over Levitt in this fight is the fight IQ. Uh, Levitt being the newer fighter, uh, he probably has a lower fight IQ. Uh, he might be more prone to gassing out or opening himself up somehow. Uh, however, I don't have fa faith in a guy like... Matt Wyman, who he himself hasn't fought in so long. And then recently when he has fought, he's lost both his fights. You know, he's also getting older. I think he's kind of uh, lost touch with having the passion to fight. And now it's just about making the money. So for that fact, I'm going to go with Jordan Leavitt for this fight. And looking at his record, seven wins. A lot of them are by chokes or submissions. So I'm going to say... Uh, Jordan leave it by submission in the second round. Mm -hmm.